hello. Hi, I'm Amy. Welcome. We have a situation. I was looking through my recommendations and then I saw Emma Chamberlain. In a video titled, Emma Chamberlain makes an espresso martini. And here's my story. Just a few weeks ago, someone brought up Kahlua, which was new to me. I believe Kahlua is an espresso drink. That's how it was described to me. And I was like, my brain was confused because even as a barista who's worked with coffee, I didn't think of the combination of the adult beverage and an espresso flavor palette combination. It didn't go through my mind until just a month ago. Fast forward two weeks later, it's my birthday and we go out, we being my parents and I, to this little Italian place and they have a good little assortment of drinks. And we all try something different. This espresso martini with these sprinkles of espresso beans on top. And I was like, okay, it's cute. And it wasn't just cute, it was tasty. It changed my whole perspective of the espresso martini. Which leads us here today, the day I was recommended the Emma Chamberlain espresso martini video. And I really wanna see if it's good. All of this to say, uh, I took that as a sign that I should make an espresso martini of my own and follow this Emma Chamberlain martini recipe. By the end of this video, you should see what you can kind of just make if you wanted to make this today. And is this actually good? Thus, is it good or is it just Vogue? I guess that's what that is today. I think we should get started. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually gonna get a notebook really quick. Oh my goodness, do you remember these? I feel like everyone had this. Do you remember Nancy Classified? I feel like everyone had that. This exact notebook around that time. Anyways, I'm a studious student today. This is gonna be my first reaction and the notes I'm about to take for Emma's video. You see this on the table? Mm -hmm. That is not Michelin star, okay? No. Are we aiming for Michelin star? Why is this outfit killing it? I mean, she is on Vogue. What do I really expect? But love this outfit so much. Why do I love the color combination so much? Why do I love the makeup so much? There's a lot of questions. We haven't even gotten to the martini yet. Almond financiers in an espresso martini. So for the almond financiers, I'm saying it wrong too. And you can totally give me a hard time in the comments. Anytime I say a French word, I'm mentally prepped. I am French and I'm still working on my pronunciation. I feel like it'd be financier. Also, correct me, uh, my mom will. We're making an espresso martini to go along with our little cakes. We could make a classic cup of coffee, but that just isn't vogue enough. An espresso martini is vogue. Oh my God. An espresso to every day, not vogue enough. Espresso martini, the thing I didn't know really existed until a month ago. Know that? Is a trend. Let's do it. Agreed. Very Vogue. <laughs> Every time she said Vogue, she had to inherently do the Vogue. And I love that for her. Now it's gonna have espresso that we refrigerated. Okay, so next, it's vodka time. This is coffee liqueur. Okay, coffee. I kind of want to try it by itself. I don't know if that's something that people do. I will. Okay, now, simple syrup. This is the last step. I believe there's five items to the ingredients list. When we go to the store, we probably just need vodka and coffee liquor. Then cold espresso we can make here, refrigerate it as we go out, and then simple syrup, which we'll figure it out. Okay. I believe this is the time we go to the store. I put on a long sleeve, some shoes, and then I was off.
espressos here safely, but here we are. Welcome to the today and today only martini bar. I made this like five minutes ago. I'm making three drinks for us to test and judge. I made three espressos and I just put them in the fridge for about an hour to chill. And voila, here they are. LLZ. And there's 1.5 ounces of vodka. The vodka I'm using, which I believe is also the one she used, is Grey Goose vodka, followed by 0.5 ounces of a coffee liquor. The one that she uses and the one that I picked up is Kahlua, which I think is notorious to be the coffee liquor or like the espresso martini. Mm. I don't know. Then there's just 0.6 ounces of simple syrup. I'm using the finest called Orgeet syrup. This has notes of rose and almond, predominantly almond, but I feel like it's gonna give a little oomph. And last but not least, as they say, we have ice, which I actually have to get. I actually just made these ice cubes two hours ago. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Oh no. You can see the bubbles. This is actually very interesting. So I have one ice cube here, and there's just water in the middle, but at the right angle. I'm gonna just drain it out. Boom. So here's a quick tip I didn't think of. Make sure ice is made before you get the stuff for your martini. As you can see by the chilled cup, I have ice in here. There's this little measuring cup at the store I have to show you. And they have ounces, milliliters, tablespoons, teaspoons, everything you would need. I think it's so cute. 1.5 ounces. Hmm. Okay, that's one ounce and a half of espresso. The Grey Goose did a little pop, like a, like a champagne. <laughs> so, one and a half ounces of vodka, half an ounce of Kahlua coffee liquor. I actually want to try some myself. That's actually really good. Have you tried it? Kahlua? Nice. It's pretty good by itself. Hmm. I see the problem. <laughs> and then the last step, which is six ounces of simple syrup. Okay. I'm done. My hands are freezing now. The moment of truth. I already see foam. Well, that wasn't very vogue of me, but I should have thought of that. Um. In spite of what just happened, I somehow just achieved the foam. My cat actually likes the smell of coffee, so. What does that mean? Back to our regular programming. As a garnish, I'm just gonna sprinkle a few beans on top and then maybe do like a zest of coffee like she did. These are the wild Kopi Luwak pure whole beans. I believe I got these off of Amazon. It, um, it just sank to the bottom, maybe. Okay. I didn't know this was a thing, by the way. I think that's good. That was the final step, was the coffee zest. Mmm. Mmm. How do I describe that? I think it's less like a bold coffee, it's like martini, like the place that we went to, but it's, it's kind of, it's like a lighter version. It's a diet version, but like diet on the coffee. That's so interesting. It's so weird, it's so good though. Okay, energizing. This is an experience. I love the foam on top, I'm a little garnish, it's so cute. Um, it's not like iced coffee, but it's like sweetened coffee at the same time. And I think if you've had vodka and recognized vodka, you could taste the vodka if you start thinking about it. But other than that, it is a smooth ride. Cheers, folks. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make the other two so we can have fair judgment. I'll see you then. What's what? Très joli. <laughs> Merci. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank like you. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's pretty. How would you describe it in a word? Delicious. Messy. Taste the coffee. Taste the coffee. Mm -hmm. It's stronger than the one we had at the restaurant. You think it's stronger? Sweet, but not too sweet. Mm -hmm. I think in the restaurant it was more uh, 
smoother? Yeah, it was smoother. I think it was smoother too. But I'm not. That might be partially because we did like Nespresso versus espresso. Do you think? I think the alcohol was stronger. Yeah. I, I taste the vodka different. more in this than I yeah. did the restaurant one. It's got more kick. It's I very, like it. It's very fresh. If you would rate it from zero to five stars, what range is it? Four. Zero to five? Four and a half. Four and a half? Yeah, I just give a match because, you know. Right. The only reason I would say that because of, even though the flavor isn't the smoothest the restaurant, the effect and the feel is a lot better than very, what the restaurant um, had. It's very sophisticated. So, feel <laughs> I think that's the, the thing yeah. about the espresso martini is that it feels very sophisticated. Mm -hmm. I think that's why she said she was like, it feels very vogue. So we could do again. I love it. I love the foam. Yeah, I know. The foam. It makes the... It's like having an espresso. Have you tried the... Uh, but like not. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's on now. And this pause here. I don't know how to back it up just a little bit. Like, subscribe. I'll hit that bell button to add a few on some cats, okay?